Hey ladies, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you some sophisticated makeup tips for mature women. Are you ready? Let's get this beauty started. All right, ladies, we're going to start off with the skincare. This is one of the most important things for women that are aging is to make sure that you have a great skincare routine. And that can be one product. So I'm going to be putting on my little Versed, Versed Skincare sent this to me. It's like a terry cloth little headband. I don't wear headbands, but I got to tell you, this has been really a really great thing to be doing my makeup or washing my face with my hair back like this and not having to clip it. And I feel a little regal when I, when I wear it. So skincare is very important. If you do nothing, I want you to get a cleanser. That's the one thing I want you to get. Stop using soap. Stop using just water. Doesn't matter if you wear makeup or not, you need to be cleansing your skin, period, end of story. So I'm gonna just show you the two cleansers I have on rotation now. You know my skincare is always changing with seasons, with my skin, etc. or I'm testing product. So this is Elemis Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser. I'm almost finished with it. I'm literally at the last bit. I love this cleanser. It's wonderful. I've been using it for a couple of years and this is going to be finished quite soon. And then I told you the three products that I bought at the Sephora sale, because I only bought three, this was one of them. This is a Clarins Purifying Gentle Foaming Cleanser with Alpine Herbs and Meadow Sweet Extracts, combination to oily skin. This is really wonderful because it has those little beads in it. Gives a little exfoliation. And I really think that working your skin, massaging your skin, getting involved with your skin, I have my gua sha that you know I came out with last summer. It's a metal, it's a stainless steel gua sha because if you drop it, it's not breaking because of course you're using an oil on your skin. This is the one that has been my choice for a while now, a couple years. It's the Biphase Fortuna Skin. And so what I do is I put a little bit just like this, a couple like three or four drops, warm it into my hands and then I press it into my skin. You need the slip when you're using a gua sha. You cannot use it if you're not having slip on the skin. So this is what I do. I put this on. This really is nice because it's not too oily. It gives me a beautiful glow in the morning. And then I'll take my gua sha and then I'll just really start working my skin. So it's going to deep puff. going to get that blood flow. You'll see that I have, it'll start giving me some of that flush look. That's fine. Again, I'm not scraping this very hard. This is a nice, you can see the slip. It's not tugging on my skin. A lot of women are saying, oh, this is really bad for your skin, what have you. It is not. Washa is an amazing tool to be using to help depuff, to help really just get your skin going in the morning. And I love using this. So this is another really great, sophisticated step for mature women to really kind of get involved with their skin, manipulate the skin, get this blood flow going. You don't want to just have stagnant fluid and everything in your skin, we have to do a workout. So you can see it beautiful. You want that beautiful pink coming up to the skin. You get that blood flow going. All right. So the gua sha is done. You can see that I have this nice pink flush to my skin and it's not too much oil on my skin. It's the biphase. So it's not going to be just too oily. I love how it definitely preps and primes my skin. If I want to just do this at night, you can do that. You don't have to do it in the morning. So now what I want to do is I want an everyday look, right? I just want the sophisticated, beautiful, mature, effortless, but you obviously have to make effort. So I'm ready, prepped and ready to go. So I'm going to use my eye primer as my first little step here. I want to neutralize out my eyes. I want this to really set up for my eyeshadow. And this is going to make my eyeshadow look true. So if you don't do this, your eyeshadow is going to mix with this darkness, this pigmentation, and it's going to look muddied. It's not going to look true. So you want to have, it's like a, you know, primer, you're, you're priming. Like if you were painting a wall, you're not going to just go right to the wall. You're going to prime the wall first, then you're going to paint it. So I'm going to go right in with my bottled blondes. I'm going to do a little extra on the bottled blonde with my Stila. This is the Grace. I'm going to, it's a shimmer and glow. I want to pop the eye. Mature women, it's so beautiful to have a little bit of that nice sheen, not just mattes. We don't want to matte out everything. If you love mattes, I'd say go for it, but I'm going to go to the middle color here. I say go for it, you know, if that makes you happy, but I think that we need to have a, just a little bit of that sheen brightening. Our eyes are alive. That's what we want to see. This is really, really a natural palette. This bottled blonde, it's been really one of my number one sellers for years now. 
and it just looks really pretty. Just use the middle color if you want to. You don't have to use all three. I'm gonna go into the first color here, just sweep across on the top underneath the brow bone. I'm gonna go in with the darkest color here, and this is my tapered blending brush. All of my brushes have the name on them, so you don't ever forget. I'm gonna just go in a little bit for some definition. It's still very light, and I can just pile it up on the end here. Not think too much about it, right? I don't need to be super precise because I can go back in with my blending brush and I can just sweep it across and make it look effortless, but it's still looking really polished and beautiful because you're working in a natural palette. You're not working in something that's like, whoa, so much color, or oh, I don't know how to do this. It looks terrible, it looks too much. I'm just going again, just making that little V, like it's like a little arrow that way, make a little arrow this way. Again, you can see, I'm just putting it in that corner there, right? Taking the blending brush, go back over. So you're just kind of sweeping it, blending it. That's what you really want. You don't want any demarcation. You want it just to all blend together. It looks beautiful. It's very effortless. You don't have to panic and think, oh my gosh, it just doesn't look good. It's always gonna look good. So this is my all my pads. I always just take one little guy here and I wrap it around my finger and I just take it up from the corner. So you see that? I just take it up from the very end and I sweep up. So anything that falls down from the sweeping and blending, then it's gone. So you have a nice crispy line right here. It doesn't fall down. You don't wanna have that eyeshadow coming down because then when you put on your concealer, it starts getting all mixed in and you have that darkness on the outside. Clean up, that's why we don't do any concealer or foundation before we do the eyes. Once the eyes done, then we'll go into our concealer and foundation. Taking my Shuamora eyelash curler, I'm going to the base and I'm going to just curl. Lashes are up, curled. And then I'm going to take my dark chocolate and I'm going to do my technique that I always do where we go right to the base of the lash, right? We're almost in that lash. You can do little dots if you want to and then connect them. You don't wanna to try to do a whole line at one time. Okay, as we're maturing, we might not be able to see as well, we might have shaky hands, what have you. It's a really good technique if you have shaky hands, just to dot it in the lashes, right? You're just working to get that definition, that darkness. You don't have to be perfect, because I'll show you what happens if you don't make the line super ultra perfect, because again, these are my reformulated pencils, so they are going to be very creamy and they're going to deposit a lot of color. Not like the old ones because you're probably used to having to work a little bit harder. This you can see, I didn't even do that much. And look, you have that beautiful line already. This does the work for you. It's nice and creamy, it's not gonna drag, and it's going to deposit really nice, beautiful, deep, dark chocolate on that line. All right, so you don't have to have it perfect. If it looks like it's all over the place or it's not even, what have you, a very simple, easy trick to do is take the short smudge brush, this is like what I call my little eraser brush, and you can just drag it across the lash line. It's going to smooth, it's going to soften, it's going to blend, really, really beautiful. So if you want that, just kind of having that line diffuse, this is how you're going to get that. And it's going to look like you absolutely are a professional makeup artist because it's truly the perfect smudgy line. So it's going to look beautiful, just enough, not too much. Eyeliner is on, taking a little volume up. This is my mascara that's going to, again, be very pigmented. And you have to really be precise when you are applying this mascara. It is not the mascara that you go and you just kind of go all over the place. You have to be very intentional. <laughs> that is really my whole key to my line is being intentional. So I go to the base of my lashes and then you can see how it grips my lashes. That was the exact point of why I created this wand with all the teeth all the way around, not just on one side. I didn't like having you limited where you couldn't roll it up. So that is giving you more control now with this wand. Again, I work with my engineers so closely to really work on this wand. You just don't take a wand and throw it into a mascara too. You have to have the formula match the wand to do what it's supposed to do. I mean, it's very technical. So this was something that I spent a lot of time on for you because I wanted you to have the max benefit of being able to really get that false lash look. So you can see 
not a lot of work, not a lot of piling on, just really separating and making it very intentional so your lashes look beautiful and they stay that way. So now I'm going to just dip back into the tube and I'm gonna do my left eye. Lashes are on, looking like I have well, false lashes, which is really a nice thing to see when you have that mascara, just like making the look come together. Now what I'll do is I'll take the Stila. This is called Grace. It is a shimmer and glow liquid eyeshadow. I'm just going to use it in the middle of my eye. I'm gonna blend it a little bit. I'm just going to use it here. It's basically, like the same color as the bottled blonde, but I'm going to give it just a little bit more of that highlight. It's almost like, you know how I always gloss my lips over my lipstick, it's like a little topper. So I just wanna have a little extra. Summer's coming up, I wanna get just a little bit more that beautiful sheen. I think it looks so pretty. The nice thing about having a liquid eyeshadow like this is you can wear it by itself and just throw on your mascara, it looks very natural, very pretty. So when it comes to the skin, this is my favorite part because this is what really pulls everything together is that your skin's gonna be even toned. So you can see that gloss from the oil, but it's not oily, it's not, you know, on my skin feeling like, oh my gosh, now I'm gonna put foundation on, it's gonna be so heavy, what have you. No, it's gonna work with my foundation. So this is really a nice thing. I'm going to go underneath my eyes with just peachy. I want to see if I can get away with, could I get away with just peachy today by itself? I don't know. My color corrector works magic every time for me because you can see instantly, it just like takes away all of this pigment. I love using this now with the shea butter. It's nice and creamy. And the way I use it is I'll take my finger because I want the warmth of my finger to really press it into my skin. I want this to be like one skin and color correcting. Now, if you need more coverage after the color corrector, whether you use Just Peachy or you use Extreme Cancel, which is going to be the brighter orange because that's going to really negate that purpley, that grays, that deep color, you put this on first, then you put on your concealer because you have to neutralize out that darkness. If not, you are going to see all of that darkness comes through your concealer and you'll be very frustrated. So as we age, this is a game changer. The color correctors I've talked about for years. It is something that I use on location on my Fierce Aging series. Also, when I'm working with a client that we really want to have that really bright under eye, right? It's all about technique, ladies. You can't just buy something new and go for it and say, oh, it doesn't work for me. You have to work with it. You have to see, okay, wait, that didn't really do as I thought it was gonna do. Let me try this. Let me try a different formula for the concealer. Maybe the concealer is too heavy. Maybe it's too light. Maybe I need to switch out and I need to basically do more of a creamy, or maybe I need to do more of a solid concealer. You have to really experiment. Like your skin's changing, feeling the look is changing that you want. So really take some time to really understand your products and work with them. This should be something you really enjoy doing in the morning, in the evening, going to an event, really putting yourself together your best self. See, I can bring this down if I want to, just the extra, it's not going to hurt to kind of bring down the brightness. Just Peachy is on. I'm gonna do my foundation and then come back and see, do I need anything else? Do I need anything else there? So this is a really nice combo for mature women. I've showed this before. I think this is my color. I have a couple of them, but this is 3C1. Let's see, this might be, let's, let, let's check. This is Double Wear from Estee Lauder. This is an iconic. You know what, if it's a little warm, that's probably gonna be good because I've been putting on foundations here on the channel that are a little too light, <laughs> like the Clarence one. I saw that and I was like, oh, in editing, I was thinking to myself, hmm, it's a little light and I have a bright red lip on, might be, you know, too much, but that's what happens sometimes, right? We just warm it up, it's fine. I could have done more bronzer. So this is the Double Wear from Estee Lauder. Now you might be saying, well, Nicole, it's a matte foundation. Why would you be using that on mature skin? Aren't we supposed to be using luminizing, what have you? Yes, but I can achieve that with adding the advanced night repair into the foundation. Remember, I still have that oil on my skin, so I already have a nice little base. So I'm gonna add maybe like just a little squirt, maybe that was like three. I'm going to mix it together. This is going to give me that hydration. It's going to not look, it's gonna stay all day, but it's not gonna look like matte and what have you. Is this gonna be okay? Okay, it's probably a little darker, ladies. Don't worry, it'll probably come together when I spread it out with my foundation buffing brush. But talk about like double duty, as they say. We get that hydration, you get this nice, beautiful, beautiful complexion, 
right? And you're just altering it. You're adding something in that's beneficial for you as a mature woman. You can do that with your foundations. It doesn't have to be just the Estee Lauder double wear. You can do that with whatever you want to do, whatever foundation you're using. But this really gives, you can see that I get that nice sheen to my skin. See that there's moisture there. It's not dry, dull, and matte. We don't want that, of course, but I'm going to get some nice coverage. So if you like a little bit more of a coverage foundation, right? We've been using a lot of CC creams, BB creams, serum foundations. If you want more, this is for you ladies that want a little bit more of that coverage, but not having a matte foundation. That was probably too much. So I'm, I'm really good right now. And then I can look and see, do I need a little concealer underneath my eyes? Do I need to cover it a little bit more? Could I get away with it or not? That's the beauty of adding makeup in stages. So you're not piling it all on and going, oh, I have so much makeup on. See what you think after you put on the foundation. Do I need a little bit more? You know what? Maybe let me just do a couple. Let me do like two little, little areas here. This is the B20 from Chanel concealer. Let's just do like this, right? So you're adding on to your recipe here, right? So you're kind of like you're a cook, you're tasting the dish as you go. And you're not saying, oh, it needs, you know, three tablespoons of salt. Let me just add it in. No, you're doing your recipe and saying, let me taste it now. Oh, needs a tiny bit more. That's what it's like when we do our makeup. We are adding, we are accessing, we are intentional, and we're gonna get this very sophisticated look, this bright look, this even toned skin. We're prepping our skin properly with our skincare, we're taking care. Just so everybody knows, like looking effortless takes effort. You can't just like just you can't just think, oh, it's just gonna all come together. I'm gonna do nothing. I'm gonna sit back and you know that whole no makeup makeup look. Let's let's be honest. Like it takes a lot of work to make it look like you're not wearing any makeup. I've done makeup tutorials like that before. And I'm like, wait a second. <laughs> People are gonna be like, wait, there's a lot of makeup when you're trying to do no makeup, but you can't do that. It's almost like an oxymoron, right? Let's add a little color to the face now. I'm gonna be using silk. This is my waterproof lip liner, ultra smooth, highly pigmented. This is a nude lip. I'm going to just outline my lip. Silk lip liner is on taking the Nick Ray. It matches perfectly. This is such a beautiful color. This is going to be ultra, just really nice and natural. Just very pretty. And then I will put on Manifest and Glow Over. This is a perfect lipstick to do that with this like little golden hue. Just can put in the middle if I want to. Just giving me that freshness on the lip. I love the combo that you can do with all of the lip glosses to the lipsticks. You can make your own color, your own formulation, if you will. So Manifest and Glow over the Nick Ray. Now let's just do a little bit of a blush. I'm going to use my Ageless palette. It's just a really nice you know, petally pink. I can use all of them. I can use one of them. I can use two of them. I just like to kind of do that. Little action, get a little custom color, add some color to the cheeks very nicely. I don't think I'm going to do any bronzing because I have a, a little bit of a darker foundation today, which really works well for me. I like to have, see a little bit more color coming into the end of spring, going into summer. And you just have a very nice, sophisticated look to the skin. Do a little brush up the brows with my brownie skinny brow pencil. Brows are just nicely shaped and have a little bit extra color in them at the base. And then the last step would be, I just like to finish it off with my Clarence Fix Makeup Spray. I'm gonna just do that. Just feels like really nice. So it's either that or the Quarterly Beauty Elixir, depending on your mood, depending on what you want to do. And there you have it. You have just something really pretty, simple, sophisticated for mature women. It's really a, just an everyday natural look, but really concentrating on your skincare first, then understanding your foundation. How am I going to make it where I have a little extra moisture, but I want it to last all day. I want to have a little bit more coverage. I love this little combo. It's very simple. It's just very elegant and easy and just really focusing on, you have to make effort to look effortless. You have to make that effort as you're aging. You have to think to yourself, okay, how do I want to show up? How do I want my best face to be? What does that mean for you? Does that mean just doing your brows? Does that mean just doing a lip balm? 
Does that mean putting on your cream cheek? You don't have to do everything. And I say that a lot in my videos. I want you to feel comfortable, but I also want you to stretch yourself and get out of the rut, get out of the eighties, get out of the nineties, you know, change the hair, change the style, do little tweaks, do something for yourself. You are worth it. There is no such thing as, Oh, you're too old for this. Oh, you know, you've, you've left the, the decades of when you actually put yourself together. No, this is the time. It's right now, right here, the present, ladies. So today, I want you to think about something you can do for yourself. Something, whatever that is. Maybe you get yourself a little latte. Maybe you do a DIY manicure. Maybe you buy yourself a little mascara or whatever it is. Do something for yourself today. Feel good about yourself and you will see such a dramatic difference with how you show up in the world. So ladies, until my next video, I'll see you later.